Hey, what's going on guys, Hex here, and today we're taking a look at Maddie Collector's Thundercats Pumera. Uh, now, she comes with uh, two sets of hands and three weapons, so, or I guess four technically, but uh, uh, you got the Boomerang, uh, then you get two different versions of the Cattail Whip Cord, uh, so you get this version, which you can put in one of her hands, you also get the one that's already assembled here at her waist, and then you get the Totem of Dara, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, maybe... Probably not. Uh, anyways, let's take a look at the figure. Uh, but before we do, I wanted to do two quick size comparisons. We'll just leave her in that weird pose there. Uh, there she is with Lino, which uh, if we extend her legs, you know, uh, she might be even a little bit taller than Lino. Uh, so you can see her right there. Uh, then we can bring in one of the Thunder Kitties and... Um, you can see kind of the size differences there. Uh, you know, I'll bring in one more, even though be just because I have them right here. Uh, this guy also came in the Mumra. This was the subscription uh, exclusive. So you had to have the Thundercat subscription to get this figure. Uh, but we'll take a look at him uh, another day this week. But uh, focusing on her weapons. So uh, the first thing that I wanted to focus on was the boomerang here. You see you get the red paint here at the middle, uh, and then this is all kind of like a metallic silver paint. There we go, you can see that a little bit better. Uh, and right out of the package, um, I, I tried to uh, keep the kind of fiddling with the figures at a minimum whenever I get them out of package. Uh, and I want to put, you know, the video camera, you know, on them as soon as possible. Just make sure that I get familiar with them and see some points that I want to make in these videos so that I don't scratch things up and they aren't as, um, whenever I tell you this is the way it came out of package, this is genuinely the way it came out of package. And there's quite a few paint errors with this. So uh, right out of package, you can see that there are some little chips in this metallic paint uh, it's like they didn't put a, a you know a, a coat over it uh, or kind of like a sealant uh, to you know keep this metallic paint from chipping so easily so right out of package you see some uh, black chips here you can see it over here uh, I believe there's yeah some over here uh, some at the edge over here so uh, this and all down here you can kind of see that so this metallic silver paint it's just already chipping away and this is something that you're going to be there's another one there you're going to be putting in her hand so I, it's going to be rubbing off on one of these so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take kind of the worst one which I think it's this one and this is the one that I'm always going to be putting in her hands that way if I'm only messing up one um, that maybe it won't look too bad because it'll be, you know, holding in her hand. That way the other ones look a little bit better. But I uh, wanted to make sure that I brought that to your attention. Uh, the other thing, the uh, Totem of Dara. This looks all right, you know. Uh, you can see that this is nice gold paint. This is blue. Uh, and the same with this. Uh, it has kind of like a, it kind of feels kind of like sticky. So I don't think there's a cylinder on it. Uh, the same thing with like this blue here. I think if there's anything that's going to chip, uh, this is going to be the next thing to start chipping. Because I don't feel, it just, you can feel sometimes whenever you mess with these figures that paint somewhere, you're like, okay, you know, that feels good. That don't feel like it's going to chip off this. You know, it feels kind of sticky and something that, you know, just taking a fingernail to it, it would probably start to chip. Uh, just kind of my experience with uh, these paint things. Uh, this is her whip cord, uh, or cat's tail whip cord, uh, kind of whip thing here, and it doesn't look too bad. Uh, you can see the yellow, blue, red little paint here at the end. Uh, this, you know, it's all kind of a, you know, bendable and stuff like that, but it's kind of just set in this uh, current pose right here, so it's really not going to... Uh, serve any purpose you're always going to have it this way uh would have been cool if it would have been something to where maybe there was a wire involved where you could bend it around i know we, i've had several figures like that where they have some type of whip um that you could bend it and apply it the way that you want and uh you could do like different poses with it but this it's all in one um kind of mold right here so this is the way it's always going to be uh at the end you see some paint that looks fine but the uh Main issue is the figure itself. Uh, you can see that you get a right closed fist, and then you get this kind of thumbs up. You know, good job, but actually on this figure, you know, kind of thumbs down because, Maddie, I don't, I don't think you did a very good job with this one. I think you're kind of rushing it, but this hand is used to hold the whip, and as you can kind of see there, that's what it will look like. So since I've talked about the figure uh, quite a bit in this video without actually showing it off a lot, uh, I talked a lot about the the paint and quality. 
Now, I wanted to make sure that this wasn't one of my, just my figure, because a lot of times uh, I tell you guys, like, hey, this is messed up on mine, uh, and be aware that this is just my figure, so yours might be totally fine. I went and looked at a couple different websites, and their eyes are exactly the same as mine. And one of the problems that I have is... You can see where, you know, the eyes, you know, you have that black outline, you know, that looks good. The white on the inside, that looks good. And then the actual eyeball, where you can see it's brown, but then there's that white speck and there to where I guess they're trying to make it look like the light shining in the eye. And then the pupil is the black part. So on this side, because of where that white speck is, the it's kind of that eye, that pupil's kind of looking that way. And then on this eye, it's all the way here to the edge, so it's even more, you know, that way. So it's like she's constantly, uh, if you did her head like this, now she's looking straight at you. Uh, so if that makes sense, you know, so you do it like that. She's definitely looking, she's, looks like she's looking straight at you, but she's definitely looking at someone to her left. Uh, so like right there, that's when she's looking directly at you. And that, you know, that might be minor. Uh, but that's something that bothers me. You look at Lino, you know, people's right there. Uh, they still have that white speck, but it's a little bit more over to the left a little bit. He's looking directly at you. Uh, let's bring in, you know, another one here. Uh, you know, they still have that, like, white speck, but looking directly at you. Uh, Mumra's eyes are just red, but uh, anyways, that, that kind of bothers me. Now, another thing on the head... This is nice, you know, this little bit lighter brown uh, on the cheeks. I think that's kind of cool. Uh, the eyebrows, I think they turned out fine. Uh, then you can see, I always mention, you know, uh, no matter what figure it is, I'm like, here, here we come with the hairline, you know, is it clean? Uh, is there any paint on the forehead or in the cheeks or anything? Around here looks clean, but then you can see some white paint here. Uh, again, you know, these are little bitty nitpicky things, but this is a $30 figure. Then after tax and shipping, it ends up being about a $45 figure. Uh, so this isn't a, a $20 or $15 figure that you went and picked up at, you know, a local retailer. Uh, you know, this ends up being about a $45 figure. So for that price, I expect top notch. Uh, I mean, this is a quarter of the price of, you know, or close to a quarter of the price of like some hot toys. So... Uh, I expect more. Uh, then uh, around here with the, the ears, you can see that they got a little light on the paint around the ears. And it looks like with the brown, they're doing a darker brown, but they're trying to do a little bit of like highlights uh, with some black lines in there. I think that looks nice. That's cool. I did the same thing over here. Another problem that I have is right here on the front. Uh, so other than, you know, the white paint on the forehead, I mean, there is a little chip right there at the top of the head. I can probably fix it on my own, but I shouldn't have to. Uh, but this looks nice. You know, you can't see the brown uh, up underneath this white hair here. So it definitely looks like it's going brown hair to white to brown. It looks nice. It's individual. You go here to the back, and you can even see this line coming across here to where it looks lighter so on the front it looks like they did two coats of white paint and then on here it looks like that definitely looks like just white painted on brown hair uh so if you know what i'm so it looks like they did like one coat here two coats here uh you should have done two coats all the way down uh there's a little bit of mishap down here at the end uh, that doesn't bother me so much except for this doesn't look like you know it's individual uh like it should if that's making sense uh, hopefully you know what I'm talking about. Uh, but as far as the hair down here on the uh, tail end of it or the back end, uh, you know, that looks fine. That looks clean. Uh, the red here on top of, you know, no splatter or paint uh, getting onto the brown or anything like that. So the red looks clean going all the way over here. Everything looks clean there. Uh, the Thundercats logo, that looks nice, clean. Uh, where this is divided, where two-tone, different colors, that looks clean. The armband here, the gold, uh, that looks clean. No paint anywhere else. So uh, down here with the tail whip that she's going to be wearing, um, you know, that looks nice. Everything clean here at the bottom. So uh, really the only issues are the head. Sorry, out of focus there for a moment. I think generally I, I would be satisfied with this figure, 
but it's the head. There's you know just a few issues that I have with it, and while they may be minor, and I could set her on the shelf and you know just like this, and not really pay that much attention to her and be like, oh, she looks fine. But at close, you know, she she does have some issues that uh, I've seen other people also complain about these. Like I mentioned, I wanted to make sure that I wasn't the only one on this one that had these issues, and two other major websites, uh, they also commented on these issues i'll look at their comments from their viewers and they also have some issues with it so uh this seems like it's going to be a widespread thing so again if you get one that's perfect congratulations for you but uh most of us didn't i think so uh over here on the paint you can see that you know this looks good you get a little gold stud there get those gold studs here in the boots as well and then these are just red so I guess uh, let's go ahead and uh, get into the articulation. It's really not the most important thing. And the most important thing uh, whenever I do these videos for you is to make sure that um, you're getting all the information. I try to keep my opinions out of it as much as possible. I just want to kind of give you the facts um, on what, what I can talk about, which is you know my particular figure. But uh, uh, if there are issues, I need to bring them uh, to your attention. So... Uh, the head, you know, it's on a ball joint. I uh, can move even with the the hair pieces right here with the little ponytails or the pigtails and you know the back uh, still has some nice movement there uh, with the arms. These go up and down, rotate there. They rotate here at the bicep, 90 degree bend or just about here. Uh, you get that thumbs up over here that moves back and forth, rotates. You have the waist which rotates as well. This is a soft rubbery plastic, the skirt, and you can see that there's a slit here and a slit here, so you can get those legs to, to move a little bit more than what you would uh, if they were closed there. You do have the thigh rotation in there, 90 degrees here at the knee, and the feet go back and forth and they rotate here. So uh, I think I showed with all the weapons. Yeah, where's that? Uh, there's, the, there's the bad one, so and put that in her hand and this was a, a figure that i was kind of excited about you know uh i liked her in the 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 newest thundercats even though this is kind of like filmation style but uh you know i liked her in that as well so I, it, it made me appreciate the character a little more so i uh, still wish we would have got chitara uh instead but we just kind of, ho hopefully uh, Super 7 takes us over and gives us uh, the rest of the Thundercats and does a better job on it, to be honest. So uh, most of the figures I really like, but uh, she has issues. So anyways, uh, thanks a lot for watching, guys. A little bit longer review for one of these figures than uh, what I normally do, but uh, there were some things in there that I wanted to cover. So anyways, talk to you guys later. Peace.